back, relax and maybe get yourself a snack Me and you gonna have a little chat So I'm here today to do a quick wrap-up video for you. I'm gradually trying to bring back um, TBRs and wrap-ups to my channel, but I keep forgetting when it's the start and end of the month to actually do them. So this coming month um, in April, I've got two TBR videos which are to do with readathons, and this is going to be my March wrap-up. So let's dive into what I read, and I'll quickly go through from what I read at the start of the month to what I finished most recently. So I was actually pretty successful overall this month considering the world completely imploded. I was quite pleased with the amount that I read because I have not been reading as much as normal. Although I find reading can be a great escapism, I also find I have to be in the right mindset to sit down and read a book. So it's been a bit hit and miss. Um, at the start of the month I think everyone was a little bit in shock about what was going on in the world and I was too, and I was finding it very difficult to pick anything up. But by the end of the month, things were getting better, and I was enjoying reading again and kind of getting used to the new way of things. I feel so much more positive now, um, despite the fact that obviously there's a lot of people who have been affected by it. We currently haven't been too affected because we have been staying inside for about three and a half weeks now. But of course, I'm so sympathetic to everyone who is really badly affected by this. And I know it's just going to keep going for a while. So please stay safe, everyone. I hope you're all doing what you can to stay safe. And, um, you know, everyone who is working a key worker job is incredible. And I have so much admiration and so much thankfulness to these people for doing their job so well and meaning that the rest of us can feel a bit safer knowing these people are out there kind of doing their jobs and working really 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 hard so thank you from me um back to the books let's get back to the books and away from the heavy topics which we don't like let's get back to books so what I read in the month of March um the first thing I finished up was a massive one which is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon this one I've done a review on and I found it actually to be more exciting and like more my thing than I thought um judging by the other book of hers I'd read I wasn't sure it would be for me and it did take a long time to get into but in the end I enjoyed it and I have done a full review so you can check that out if you want um I gave it a three and a half out of five next up I read another one of the booktube sff ones and actually this book is going to be the um book club book for my sci-fi and fantasy book club in April so I'm happy because I've already read it and that is Recursion by Blake Crouch this one I also found I enjoyed more than I expected. Um, it's a sci-fi thriller kind of crossover, very fast paced, cool ideas and I definitely enjoyed. So I gave that one a 4 out of 5 stars and again I have done a full review of that too. Next up I had My Accident of Stars which was um, the book club book for March for my sci-fi and fantasy club. I enjoyed this for the most part but it was certainly a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I ended up giving it a 3.5 I think and I'm interested in the second but I've heard not so great things about it. Um, I'm however interested in reading more of Foz's work because I enjoyed their style. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I might return to Foz Meadows. I may not return to this actual world. It was a bit over complicated at times, um, unnecessarily I think. The next one on my list was If You Knew Her, which was my book club book for work. And this one I gave three stars. It was fun, easy reading, and actually quite a good distraction from everything that was going on because it was more of a thriller mystery crossover, which is not something I typically read and so felt quite easy to get into. Um, I find usually that the mystery element is not that exciting for me, so I wasn't sure I'd like it, but I did. I enjoyed it. I thought it was well written and yeah, gave it three stars. Next up, I had This Is How You Lose the Time War, which is one of the SFF booktube sff um shorts i don't have to read these but i had them on my shelf so i thought i would and i enjoyed this more than i expected as well it was quite a good month for like i picked something up i didn't expect to love it i actually enjoyed it more um and that was uh, a short story kind of told by two different authors and they are writing two different characters who write letters to one another through time I enjoyed it a lot um, more in the second half. I think the first half was very hard going for me and I actually almost DNF'd it at one point. But the second half really redeemed it and I ended up giving it four stars. So 
I'd say push on with that one, even if you're not sure about it, because I think it gets a lot better in the second half and when you kind of really get to know the characters. The next one I read is To Be Taught If Fortunate. This is the Becky Chambers short fiction. Um, I really enjoyed this. I knew I would. Becky Chambers is always one of my faves. And actually, this was great escapism for me. Um, I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. And I think this is such a well written little story with so many kind of works that I really like. Maybe a little bit relatable in the world that we're in where we're following a group of characters who are pretty isolated with just them um, and they're kind of traveling around to different planets to kind of research about what is living there and whether things can live there because Earth is not going well. And I really enjoyed it. I thought this was so well written, such an interesting concept and worked so well in short form. So I gave that four out of five stars and I'd highly recommend um, checking that one out, especially if you're new to Becky Chambers. It's a standalone, you don't have to read anything else of hers, but I think it's a great introduction to her writing. The next one I read was a self-published one. This was Zandra Voorhees and the Piazza Wand. This book um, I really enjoyed. I didn't know what to make of it because it is self-published, so it could have gone either way, but I really enjoyed it in the end, and I found that it was definitely one that surprised me in a lot of ways. There she is, just checking out what I'm doing, aren't you? Hey? This is Smudge. <laughs> Say hello. No, too distracted, aren't you? But yes, the next one I read was a self-published. Um, I really enjoyed it in the end, actually. It took a while to get into, but once I got connected with the character, it's following the entire lifespan of Xandra, and she does... Oh, now you can see her. <laughs> she does a lot in the time that she is in this book, um, and I was actually really surprised it was just a standalone book because so much is covered in the time span that we follow and you sort of see her as she's a young wand maker traveling to the new world to set up shop and then you see her as she goes through life and she meets people she forms connections and relationships and eventually you see her kind of fighting the evil guys of this world as well um and you follow her whole life really so it's it's a good story and it definitely once I got into it was really really fun so I would highly recommend it actually and I think there will be a second one in the series um, which I probably would read. I gave it a three and a half out of five stars. The next one I read was a short story, this was again a self-published one and it is called The Blood King, it's by Keith Ward. This book is a really short kind of novella style book that introduces you to his Red Proxy series. I've read the third one in this series um, because that one was submitted for SPFBO last year, I think it was. Um, and I really enjoyed that one. So I wanted to go back and read the novella and the second one in the series. The novella I thought was fine, but it was very short, very quick. So I gave it two stars. It was an interesting introduction, but it feels very, very short. Um, so I wouldn't say it counted much as a full book to me. It was just kind of a very snippet of the world, um, but it does introduce you to some stuff. So I gave that two stars. I then read my five star book of the month, which I absolutely loved. And that is Doing Time by Jodie Taylor. This is um, a new series in the Jodie Taylor world. This is based in the same kind of universe as the Chronicles of St. Mary series. And I love that series. It's one of my all time favourites and this series follows um, some of the same characters. I've done a full review which will be going up really soon of this but I loved it, needless to say. Um, and I gave it five stars. Love Jodie Taylor. Best escapism for when everyone is staying at home and hiding out and doesn't have the brain capacity to read anything complicated or scary. She's the best. So I really recommend Jodie Taylor. She just writes fantastically and takes you right out of whatever is going on in the real world into a nice fantasy place. So I really like her um, and I'd highly recommend her books to you. But this one for me gave five stars. Moving from a very successful read onto a not so successful read, um, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I'm definitely a bit upset by this because I bought the physical edition and it was beautiful. I did not like the book. I got about a third of the way in and I just found it was really not working for me. I was not enjoying it. I found it a real struggle to pick up and it just, it wasn't good for me. I know a lot of people have very mixed views. Some love it, some hate it. I feel like I fall more in the really didn't get it or like it kind of want to read it category. Um, so yeah, again, I'll be talking a bit more about this in a review, but I DNF'd it. I did not finish and I don't intend to. So sadly, that was also one of the BookTube SFF 
nominees for the year. Next up, I read Wayward Sun, which is by Rainbow Rowell. This one I gave two and a half out of five stars. It was very much fine, but I don't think it was as good as Carry On, which is the first one in this series. And I think there was a lot of bickering between the main characters and kind of internal monologuing between the characters, which I found a bit boring, if I'm honest. The adventure itself was more fun. I still don't think it was as good an adventure as the first book in the series. This one kind of branches off and goes a different direction and they visit the US. I just didn't like it as much. Um, I think it lost some of the charm of the first book. So I gave it two and a half, very middle of the road but not really my favourite read of the month. And then the final book that I got to this month, I haven't done a review just yet, but I will be doing one very soon. And that is Gods of Jade and Shadow. I literally just finished this one up. Um, so yes, enjoyed this one. Definitely wasn't what I expected. It was a much slower, kind of more peaceful, serene story than I thought it would be. Um, even though there is an adventure, it doesn't feel like fast paced. It feels quite methodical and slow and there's a lot of Maya and Mexican influences in this which was really nice to see um, but I didn't feel like it was super exciting so it was a mixed one. Um, I enjoyed it but I don't think it was super duper exciting or memorable and so I gave it a three out of five stars in the end. So that is everything I got to, which I think is pretty good. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have read in this month. Did you get to any of the booktube SFFs? I'll be reading more of them over the coming month, along with all the books that I'm going to be talking about in my 2TBR videos, so check them out if you haven't already. And I hope you guys are good, staying inside, staying safe, and yeah, let's all just keep reading all the books to escape from the madness of the world right now. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye guys. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.